You know, as a graffiti artist or a graffiti writer, it's always super nice to have mops, markers, and paint sticks that can write on a ton of different surfaces so that you actually only have to have one or two of them with you at a time. We all know that some mops and markers aren't the most carryable, they're not the best shapes to be carrying as a graffiti artist. So having those one or two graffiti mops or markers that are super versatile in terms of the number of surfaces they can write on makes a big difference for that carryability factor. And that is why today I thought it would be helpful to my fellow graffiti writers and artists out there to share my top five most versatile graffiti mops, markers, and paint sticks that I have used over the years writing as a graffiti artist. So let's get to it. Now I should specify that things like spray paints, fire extinguishers, fertilizers, paint guns, those can all write on any surface. So to keep the list a little more relevant here, we are strictly talking about those markers, the mops, the paint sticks, the things that are a little more difficult to carry sometimes if you are trying to carry something carryable. So the fifth most versatile mop or marker on this list is actually just a general type of one. I should specify that some of the markers, mops, paint sticks on this list will be brand Branded ones and then others will just be certain types that are super versatile to use. Either way, I will try my best to link in the description where you can buy each type on this list if you are interested in picking up some of the most versatile graffiti supplies for yourself. But as I was saying, the fifth most versatile sort of graffiti supply that I have used as a sort of regular carry in the past are small chisel tip or bullet tip nib markers. And let me tell you why I enjoy these so much as a nice versatile carry. For markers like this with their chisel tip or tinier bullet tips. It's nice because you can actually damage the nibs a little bit and they'll still roll just fine. If you're using things like just a normal mop, if you damage the nib, eventually the whole sort of hair on the nib will tear off and you're just left with sort of a bit of a dysfunctional tool at that point. The nice thing about these chisel tip bullet tip nibs is that you can damage them, rough them up a little bit, and they still keep on ticking. And that ability to just keep going with those nibs is is what opens up a whole variety of sort of semi-rough, rougher surfaces to write on with these. If you guys are anything like me or you've seen the channel, you know that I'm very closely tied to the freight graffiti scene. And some of those older freight cars, tankers, all that, they can have some very rough metal on them. Any kind of marker like this will have no problem writing on that. You will damage the nib, don't get me wrong, but you can write on any kind of semi-rough metal to anything smooth with this type of marker. So here are a few of the sort of chisel tip nibs that I have used. You can tell the sort of dirtier ones here are the ones that I've used more often and regularly. This thing, the Crink K71, I bought this probably about seven years ago and I've used it on and off that whole time just with a couple of nib replacements. I really enjoy this style of marker, sort of the off straight chisel tip, I guess is, is what it is. And it's a beautiful size to get into some small spaces as well as some bigger spaces. The other one that I've started using more recently specifically is this Grog Cutter Mini. Now I do have to say the Grog Cutter Minis are just a great size. You can see it fits in the palm of your hands and specifically with the mini size of these Grog Cutters here, the sort of five millimeter flat chisel tip is just Perfect. And the grog ones in particular, they're just so nice and soft, especially after you break them in, that they just give a beautiful feel to write with. So if you are looking for just a single sort of chisel tip to use, that is very nice and carryable, can write on a lot of different surfaces. I cannot recommend this grog cutter mini highly enough. Of course, I'll link in the description where you can pick one up for yourself if you want. But the fourth most versatile graffiti marker I have used has got to be the trusty whiteout pens here. Probably not what some of you were expecting, uh, especially this. I just use like the, the normal Bic brand ones. Like it's not even really like the graffiti brand ones or anything like that. I know there's a few brands out there that you can get, but I just find that these, the ball bearings in them just roll and go and go and go. And the actual roller balls don't really break too easily. And that really is the key here. As someone who enjoys a good ground tag from time to time, I have obviously used 
the Grog metal heads as well as the Crink K66s here. And just with all those sort of larger steel tip roller ball graffiti markers, I've noticed that it's either the actual ball bearing is chipping very quickly, the spring is getting jammed down. In some cases, the actual ball bearing just breaks and falls out somewhere and they just aren't very consistent. So having a nice sort of smaller whiteout pen like this, whether you fill it with something besides the whiteout that still flows in there nice and easily, I just find you can write on some fairly rough metal with it. This one in particular has been used on plenty of freight metal. It's still going along just fine. And I would not bet on it quitting anytime soon. At least I hope not, because I like this one. I've got it all, all squeezable now. It's nice and squishy. So I guess to sum this one up, I do have to say it's small enough, obviously, to get in some very small spaces, but it's tough enough to get to almost any of those sort of rougher surfaces, as well as any of the smooth ones, of course. And if you're looking for something affordable, it doesn't get any better than something like this. And the third most versatile mop marker or paint stick on this list is actually sort of an extension of these beautiful Bic pens here, and that is, of course, these Dicom Delo Industrial Paint Markers. And honestly, these things are just like basically those Bic pens, but on steroids. They have a hard as hell outer body and steel tip. Their pump action system on the back never seems to have any problems, at least not for me in my history using these for a few years. And you know what? The color selection isn't too bad as well. I can link you to like a value pack of these if you want to pick some up in bulk, save yourself a bit of cash. Link in the description to that. But let me explain to you why these Dicom Delo markers are so versatile. And it's really for three reasons in particular. Number one, like I mentioned, the steel tip ball bearing is just so tough. I've never actually had one of these break on me. I know some other people claim that they have, but for me personally, I've used this a lot. I've never had problems. So that opens up a whole world of sort of rougher surfaces that you can write on with these. You can get these in, I believe, a one, a two, and a four or five millimeter ball bearing. And to the paint formula that actually comes in these industrial paint markers is so sticky and gorgeous that you can actually write on wet surfaces totally fine. So obviously that is great for not only the freight environment, but street environment as well. Any kind of tagging applications outdoors, this will do more than just fine for those. And thirdly, something that the Dicom Delo doesn't really get credit for too much is this pump system actually pressurizes the ball bearing at the top, which actually allows you to write on surfaces that are more than 90 degrees upwards. So say the lower part of a tanker car, something like that, or even just the little part on the tanker cars that stick out at that almost 90 degree, but inconvenient enough that a normal mop doesn't really want to write on it angle. These do all of those things very, very well. And I think the Dicom Delos in general don't get as much credit as they deserve probably within a lot of the graffiti circles. And you know what, before I get to the second one, I, I say this about once every 100, 110 videos, but if you want to see more videos like this on your homepage from the channel, feel free to subscribe if you want. But anyway, the second most versatile graffiti marker mop or paint stick that I have used is my old friend, the On The Run Slimer here. And you know what, I'm pretty certain that it's just about impossible to get these in Canada right now. Someone feel free to prove me wrong. I would love that more than anything. But this is the only one I have and I sort of save what's left in it as a bit of a collector's item. But basically, since the tip of this is just the same plastic as the rest of the marker, it does not care where you lay down the thick, juicy paint lines with it that it has. You can essentially write on anything from the roughest of rough surfaces to the smoothest of smooth surfaces with this, and the beautiful, thick paint formula in it is so thick that it just gives off a really nice three-dimensional feel to it. Personally, that three-dimensionality of sort of the lines you can get, especially if you're willing to tag a little bit slower when you're using this. Those three-dimensional lines are just beautiful and they're one of the best features about this as well as its general versatility. Now the top most versatile graffiti mop marker paint stick on this list should be not really a surprise to anyone, I wouldn't think, especially for those graph heads in the freight scene. And that is, of course, the Markle B 
paint sticks here. And that is exactly why I have so many of these. It's just because they are so damn versatile. They write on anything. It doesn't matter if it's hot or cold. It doesn't matter if the surface is wet or dry. These babies will write on literally anything. In the area that I'm from, the summers, it can be as hot as about 35 degrees Celsius and the winters on a bad day, it can be as low as negative 30. And these things just don't care. They will crush the surface you apply them to no matter what. If you don't believe me either, feel free to check out our full review and surface tagging test linked in the top right hand corner where the cards are on these Mark All Bs. And I feel like I may need to clarify something here because I know a lot of you right now are thinking, Skiz, what about the Sakura streakers? What about the Sharpie Mean Streak? What about those hand mixed solid sticks? And yeah, I know all of those are great, great alternatives to the Mark All B paint sticks. And I've got nothing against any of those either. But for me personally, I have just found that these are the smoothest to write on regardless of the temperature. Something I don't like so much, particularly about the Sakura streakers in the hand mix is that especially when it gets really hot, they're just a little bit sticky. And these Markal Bs are just so buttery, especially when you're writing on some nice warm metal with them in the hot sun. And that just can't be replicated with some of those softer paint stick formulae, at least not in my experience. And that's okay if you guys have a different opinion on, you know, which paint stick is the best. All the paint sticks are pretty dang good, except for the, the crank one, that one is trash. And it's not okay if you have a different opinion on that one. But if you are interested in saving a bundle of money and buying these in bulk, I'll link you to a 12 pack below. You can get these for like just over a buck each. They're super cheap. So that'll be one of the first links in the description for you to save yourself a couple bucks. And you know what? Here on the channel, we've reviewed just about every single graffiti mop marker or paint stick that I showed you guys here today. So if you are interested in seeing a bit more about any of them, feel free to check out our playlist. We've done over 70 different graffiti reviews on the channel. And like I said earlier, because I love these Mark All B paint sticks so much, I would really recommend you check out the Mark All B paint stick review and full surface test on screen now as well. I hope to see you in one of those videos over there. Until then, peace.